Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with a TTM Mail Day recap for Thursday through Saturday. Um, I have uh, quite a few that came in at least for Saturday's returns and Fridays. I didn't pick up the mail on Friday. Um, battery died in my truck, so I had to go buy a new one, but that's okay. It lasted seven years and four owners, so I'd say that's pretty good. So um, I've never had any major problems in my truck, just all normal wear and tear stuff I try to get replaced as soon as I can try to be a responsible vehicle owner as best I can um, even though I'm not at all mechanically inclined in any way but I try so that's why I got my brother and my dad they help me out a lot so um, I got four that came in uh, Thursday and then we got this stack uh, some of those are photos um, I also got um, labels from Vista, Vista print. I don't know where they are but they're somewhere around here so um, make it easier for doing envelopes and cut down a lot on time there uh, getting envelopes ready and then also uh, got good news about the house um, we were approved for the USDA loan so now all we gotta do is uh, when a lot comes available uh, claim that and uh, we can maybe get a new house by next year or by the end of this year I don't know we'll see um, but uh, it's exciting so um, in the try and get a house so pretty cool so never thought I'd get to this point at 24 so but this kind of all helps to my brother because <laughs> since uh, he makes more to me so um, that helps out so let's go enough rambling let's go ahead and get into the returns so um, since we have one celebrity return, the rest are baseball for Thursday. We might as well show that one first. This has come back from actress Carol Eve Rosin. And she signed two photos for me. Uh, both these photos are from the same movie. One she inscribed to myself, and one I thought I'd write a request for Mr. Bruce. I, don't, I doubt that he has her in, in his collection, so I figured that'd be a cool one to write for him. And she signed both. Then uh, for our 1950s and 60s, we got three points here. We got Mr. Doug Rader, who signed a photo of the 1968 Topps car when he was with Houston. So that's one point. We got one that a lot of people have gotten back. I just hadn't gotten him yet. Mr. Jerry Fosnell from the Twins. Played a couple years with them. And then we got Mr. Fred Valentine, who kindly included two extra photos, which is pretty cool. Um former Washington Center and he still lives in the DC area Mr. Fred Valentine pretty cool looking black and white photo and then here's one of the extras he included this is when he was actually with Baltimore uh, it's uh, a little bit wider than a 4x6 but shorter and then this is one of the uh, Royals alumni cards I'll play from 59 68 36 home runs 138 RBIs, and 247 at average in part-time duty. He also uh, looks like he played 1970 in Japan. The Hanshin Tigers. So pretty cool. So that is a three points to add to our totals. And hopefully there's a bunch more in here. So first off, as we normally do, we'll start off with the card return. So this is coming back from Mid Island, New York. If you're new to my channel, uh, on Saturdays I try to do um, live openings so you get my live reaction. And I also like just to share with you where it's come from, it's postmark, and then my little secret there. I initial their first and last name, just and then the month and year I send it out. Just helps me kind of, in case it comes back empty, which I've had a few of those before, I kind of know who it may have been from. Sometimes the envelope gets ripped open, sometimes somebody could have stolen it, um, you never know. Um, so, uh, with a $5 donation, I don't know if he's $5 or $10, I couldn't find anything saying he upped his charge, because he used to be free, and, or he used to charge, and he was free, and then he charged again. So I sent $5, uh, there was no notes, so I assume it must have been okay. Uh, 66 top signed by Mr. Ed Cranepool, so that's four points our team there so and if your case you're also wondering what in the world is team 
50 and 60s. That's a contest I'm hosting. It's called the Battle of the Decades TTM Contest. I did a poll, and everybody, or the majority of people voted for baseball, and they wanted Team 50s and 60s to go up against Team 90s. So, well, there's a bunch of us uh, doing that, and uh, we're all pretty close uh, after about nine weeks. I'll be doing an update tomorrow to see where we're at. Next up, this one's kind of thick. Looks like they must include some extras or something. We got West Palm Beach, Florida. Again, this was sent this month in September. It's going to be Mr. J.W. Porter. I have gotten them before not too long ago but uh, for the contest I need to get them I had considered um, putting in some money in there but it didn't look like he really this is usually just like return that so I didn't do that but uh, included two extras which is very cool of him so the Senators and the Cardinals looks like he played all the plays catcher and Elfu and then two nice little cards then we got a letter in here from his wife looks like uh oh looks like he was uh, hospitalized in January that would have been um, I sent to him last year uh, he had a no pneumonia hopefully it wasn't a form of the coronavirus um, wow so Mr. Porter is in uh, rehab but Glad to still be able to sign and people remember him, so that's really cool. So definitely, uh, if you guys maybe send him a little well wish card there. Um, if I would have known that, I would have done that. Uh, included something like that uh, in my request for him. But I did not know he was uh, battling some stuff there. So um, good to see, though. It looks like he's healing. And I uh, hope you're doing well, Mr. Porter, if you ever see this. And thank you, Mrs. Porter, for uh, including the nice note. So, we got another one, West Palm Beach, Florida. Again, it's also from September of this year. It's going to be Mr. Danny Murphy. Um, I don't know if he's related to Daniel Murphy at all, but uh, it could be his grandfather, I'm not sure. But former Cubs... Outfielder signed a picture of a 62 tops rookie card. So really cool. So that's more points all in a row here. Next up we got Carol Stream, Illinois. This is a little bit older. This was sent last month in August. I sent out a lot of baseballs, so and most of them are going to be baseball. But uh, we're actually getting different. We're getting a football. Former Broncos offensive or defense alignment. No, offensive lineman, I'm sorry. Mr. Jim Jurgia played for a couple seasons for them in the early 90s. So that's pretty cool. And then this is his uh, when he was in college. Um, I think Illinois. So really cool return there. Former Bronco, always happy to add those guys. Next up we got Greensboro, North Carolina. This is 920. This is most likely a baseball if they're from September. I don't think I've really sent anything else out this month that was different. Is Mr. Bob Humphreys signed a photo of his 1968 tops, and then uh, coincidentally I ended up finding the 65 tops of him in that a uh, lot of cards I bought. So fortunately, I already sent it off, so I could not include that card. But uh, another point for Team 50s and 60s. Uh, next up, got North Houston, Texas. It's also, again, sent out 920. It is Mr. Carl Warwick with a $5 uh, donation or fee. I wasn't sure if he's more for photos, so I just sent him $5. It seemed to uh, be okay with him, so he signed it kind of in uh, purple. 
is kind of interesting. Actually, uh, it comes up black on the photo there, but uh, you can see it looks pretty good. Honestly, in person. So, former Cardinals and Orioles player. So, another point. Then we got this one. I was like, when I first grabbed it, I was like, how in the world did this get here with one stamp? And then I saw that they paid $4.25 for shipping. Uh, it's coming back from, uh, looks like Knoxville, Tennessee. It was sent out this month, and it is absolutely massive. <laughs> it feels like there's like 20 photos or something in there, so I don't know who this is. The initials are BG. But I think whatever it is, I owe them a definitely a thank you note. Maybe a little more. So let's see what this is. Uh, I'm excited. I couldn't couldn't wait to do this video after I. Oh, I think it's a book. Okay. What can the Bible teach us? Okay. So it's not photos, but it's a book. Under from 2016, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, of Pennsylvania. I haven't heard of them. I guess I would have to do more research on this particular, um, I guess, publisher? I don't know. So, I don't know if I show this. It's pretty cool. It is uh, Mr. Let's see, which one did I send him? I sent him this one. This is Mr. Buddy Gilbert. So, again, more points for Team 50s and 60s. That's the one I sent him. He played for the Cincinnati Reds in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, I signed this one to me. Good health to you, Buddy Gilbert. And then this is like a smaller photo of his 1960 Tops card. He actually had a pretty decent season there in '59. 142 hits. Oh, well, that's the minor leagues. Okay, that's why 24 homers, 84 RBIs. I thought. Uh, I thought that was a major league. I was like, how have I not heard of this guy? <laughs> and then he included... Also, he played in 1959. But, uh... He had a pretty decent minor league career, it looks like. And there's just a little custom... A uh, little bit smaller than an index card. So very cool. And then we got a book. So we'll have to check that out. And see what that's all about. So thank you, Mr. Gilbert, for that. And then that should be everything. And then yeah, and then we got my Amazon photo order. So got, I thought I'd already got all my photos, but I guess not. So I got to get to work on those. So not a bad day there, three days. So yeah, so again, gonna be doing a Battle of the Decades update. Um, I also I need to try and get my last World War One video uh, that I have planned uploaded for you guys. If I have time this weekend, I'll try. So, uh, no promises, but I'll try and get that up for you for those of you that are interested in the World War One autograph project. Um, I still have a few that I need to show. Uh, we need to find them too. <laughs> Let's see where I, I think I think they're in the cabinet up there somewhere. I got a whole pile of autographs I got to put away. Honestly, I've been really slacking. I've been really bad. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this video has gone long enough, and I'm taking enough of your time, but. Uh, Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow, or if not, Monday. So talk to you later. Bye.